Hey, Jay Graham's here again with another fantastic car I'm going to show you. It is for sale. You can go to volocars.com where you can see a few hundred collector cars for sale. We have all the descriptions, uh, pricing, photos top to bottom. There's ways on there to contact us. We'll answer any questions, help you buy the car of your dreams. Uh, we have financing, shipping. But let's take this one for a spin. And it barely fits in here. If this car was two inches longer, I don't think we'd be able to spin it around. This is a special car. It's not just a regular Lincoln Mark V. Those are great by themselves. But it is a 15,000 mile survivor. And it's the Collector Series. I didn't know what a Collector Series was up until a couple of years ago we bought one of these. This is the most expensive American car built in 1979. It had a price tag in the low 20s, like $23,000. A Cadillac Baritz was about $15,000. This has so many special appointments that are only on this car that you couldn't get on any other Lincoln. Uh, it comes with a leather tool kit. It comes with its own umbrella. It comes with a garage door opener. I'll show you all that stuff in a, in a couple minutes. I found it really interesting to see what all this car has to offer. So the Mark V is just a great looking car. This is the last year of the big full-size luxury cars. It's got the land out top. It has a power uh, moonroof with the shade inside. It has the turbine wheels and they're color keyed to the car. All the collector series were this midnight blue color. It's got a three-stripe pinstripe, uh, color-matched body moldings. It's an original car, and it does have stone chips up front here, and this plastic has got some crackling. Other than that, this car is virtually like new. Uh, excellent, excellent condition. Still has the original Michelin tires. It's a one-family owner car. I just spoke to the owner, and... Uncle George bought it originally. These were hard to come by. They had to go to Pennsylvania to get this car. And George uh, sold it to his sister, who really is the one who wanted the car. So Uncle George went and found it for her. And then she had the car until she passed away in the early 90s. And it's just stayed in the family since. It's got just over 15,000 actual miles on it. The interior is so luxurious. It's a cloth interior that was actually more expensive than the leather, believe it or not. It's big, poofy pillow uh, top seats, and they're so comfortable. I want to put them in my living room. Throw out the lazy boy, I'll take one of these any day. Fully power you know, option, the windows, the seats, uh, locks, trunk, antenna. It's got a power lumbar, and there is leather throughout. The dash is completely wrapped in leather. The door panels have leather trim. The backs of the seats and the bottoms, that's all glove soft leather. Bucket seats, which you don't get in a Lincoln. This is bucket seats with a council. The council's completely wrapped in leather too. Now you can go to our website and you'll see pictures of all of that. The inside of the car is like brand new. The back seat still has plastic on the seat belts. Lincoln had this window that went down in front first here. Smokers love that. Not that this car was smoked in. The ashtrays are still like brand new. Um, and the reclining seat, uh, lighted up uh, vanity mirrors. They have two settings on the lights. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start showing you some of the really cool stuff. I'm gonna grab the keys for the car. does have a power trunk I could have just used that but you're you're gonna find this very interesting this car also came with the padded uh, trunk here but this comes with all sorts of cool features for one you'll notice it's completely carpeted I mean wall-to-wall -wall carpet the tire is carpeted and the jack has a carpeted sleeve that goes in the uh, covers the jack the original Michelin tire has never been out of this car. Still got ink markings on it. But some of the cool stuff, <clears throat> look at this leather tool pouch. It says collector series right on it. This is all leather, color matched to the car. It has all the tools, road flares, flashlight. It has the 
screwdriver that says collector series right on it. I just think this is cool. It's all here. It's never been used. Here's the little card. It tells you what each piece is. And I looked and every piece is here and it matches. Here's a letter from this company in here on how to order replacement tools. Here's a separate little leather made pouch with extra bulbs and fuses. That's, uh, that's something like Rolls Royce does. You're able to get it in the Lincoln. So the original tool kit is in here. Uh, miscellaneous original documentation from when it was sold new. A collector series leather bound uh, owner's manual book. The manual uh, wrench for opening the sunroof. This is their little trash bag that hangs from the uh, like radio knob or whatever. This is really cool. I flipped down the visor and there's a garage door opener button. I've never seen that on an old Lincoln like this. And on the uh, vanity mirror, there's a sticker with the codes from Ford on how to open the garage door. And I'm looking in the trunk, still in the box, this is the digital controller for the garage door. It has a Lincoln emblem on it. Here's the button. This would mount in your garage and you would use it with the button that's in your car. Uh, this is right from Lincoln and uh, I've never seen one before. It's still new in the box. Now when I say the sticker is still on the, uh, on the vanity mirror, there's a sticker on the sunroof. There's a sticker right here. There's ink stamps. Uh, the trunk light works. But this car is very original, really cool. So that's some really neat stuff that I wanted to show you. And then there's some cool features inside too. You can spin me around, Russell. Like I said they had uh, center consoles, which other Lincolns did not. And I didn't even know it on the other Lincoln, but it opens up in front here. It's got a CB radio. All the controls are right here. That's a factory option. The center console is locking, it has the quadraphonic stereo system, which actually sounds really good. The Cartier clock is working, the power antenna works, everything lights up really nice. The car is very functional. One thing I forgot to mention in the trunk, there's a little box and you open it up and it has a gold tag that goes on the glove box with the serial number of this car and then the owner's initials are on another little tag that you're supposed to glue on the door. Those are still in the little box. It says collector series. So if you like that original stuff like I do, I mean this has got it all. It's so luxurious. It's a big, I think a 400 uh, motor in this one. All the specs are on our website. It still has the original exhaust with Ford on the muffler. So these are very, very collectible, very desirable. It's the last of the big luxury cars. This one is the best Lincoln had to offer. This was the, the, the best United States had to offer in 1979. I think it's an incredible car with neat features, neat history. It's just so comfortable to cruise in. So don't waste time. Contact us up in the uh, right corner of your screen. You can click on a uh, tab and it takes you to our website, takes you right to this car. You can see all the specs and pricing. And uh, let us know how we can help put this in your garage. You better measure your garage first, though. All right, thanks for watching.